Problem number 84 from the 2012 AP Calc AB exam. This is a calculator question where you can definitely take advantage of the calculator. They present us with a situation that involves the stretch of the x-axis from negative 1.5 to positive 1.5. They tell us that a function has first derivative given by this crazy looking exponential expression here. Which of the following are all intervals where the graph of f is concave down? So let's think about this. We have access to an, a first derivative. We want to know when the function with this first derivative is concave down. Now in general, a function is concave down when the second derivative is negative. One thing that you can do in order to answer this question successfully is carefully take a second derivative of this function, of this first derivative, right? If you have the first derivative, one more derivative gives you a second derivative of the original function. And then you can look at trying to figure out when that second derivative is negative. That is not the option that I went with. On the AP exam, you're most likely going to be pressed for time. And if you can save time, you might as well do so. Here's a place where you can save some time. I know that if f prime is decreasing, that tells me the derivative of f prime is negative. The derivative of f prime is f double prime. So what I did is I broke out my graphing calculator and I actually graphed f prime. So here's a graph of f prime. I did have to, I, I didn't have to do this, but I chose to do it. I only wanted to focus on the stretch of the graph from negative 1.5 to 1.5. So I just stretched my x-axis. I, I kind of condensed it to negative two to two, just so I was seeing the stretch of the graph that I needed to be concerned with. This is a graph of f prime on that interval. If I am trying to use the argument that I just made, when is f prime decreasing? I need to know when f prime has negative slopes. f prime has negative slopes on this stretch of the graph. Right? f prime is decreasing on that stretch of the graph. f prime is increasing on this next stretch of the graph. f prime is decreasing again on this stretch of the graph. Now, one thing that if you have time, you're going to want to take the time to, to go ahead and do is just to kind of confirm where this low spot and this low spot and even this high spot actually are. So if you found the minimum of the graph here, the maximum of the graph here, the minimum of the graph here, what you'd see, and, and I've labeled it, you'd see that this low spot happens at an X of negative one, this high spot happens at zero, and this next low spot happens at an X value of one. What we need to know is we need to know where the intervals are where we're negatively sloped because those are the intervals where f prime is decreasing. Therefore, those are the intervals where f double prime is negative. That would be from negative 1.5 to negative 1 and from 0 to 1. So if you look at the options, option D is the one that we just got.